Hi there Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at the week February 15 through 21. And what's happening this week is excellent news for you. Venus, the goddess of love, and Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, are moving into your sign, joining up with the sun, where they'll stay for the next three weeks. The sun is finishing up his tour of duty in your sign. Happy birthday to all of you celebrating your special day this week. You're the last Aquarius cabs off the rank. For those of you born on the 18th, the 19th, you know you're getting very close to the cut and that makes you a cusper, meaning that you are, you know, one foot in Aquarius and one foot in Pisces, which is Cindy Crawford and Rihanna actually are a nice mix of Aquarius and Pisces. And I think we see that, especially with Rihanna, who can be so um, tough and, you know, and in charge and yet ethereal and dreamy and romantic and sensual and very feminine at the same time. And so for those of you on the 19th, you share a birthday with two pretty fierce people. So that's something to know and be excited about. So Aquarius, this is a really good reason for you to be celebrating. To be celebrating the fact that the two personal planets are hand in hand in your sign, Venus being the planet of love and Mercury being the planet of communication. For those of you who are single, it's a really good time for you to be online if that's something that you can deal with. It's a lot of work, it's a part-time job, but it does get you out and about and at least you can meet people even if they only ever end up being friends. But it's good experience, I feel. I always tell my clients who haven't been on a date in, you know, 10 years, look, you know, it, it, it's free and you can just put a picture up that no one would even know that was you and you don't have to, you know, give too much information away. And maybe you'll go have a cup of coffee or a drink with somebody and he or she could be really good fun or he or she could be the biggest dud and you'd be like, I'm going back to watch my Netflix. But you just never know. It's really a numbers game at this point, especially if you live in a big city. So keep that in mind. I know you're looking for someone quirky and offbeat. Well, you could just find that in a Gemini or a Sagittarius or another Aquarius or an Aries. They're all perfectly good matches for you. So really soak it up. Mercury is going to be sending you some great ideas and ways to do things. Mercury is a very useful planet to have in your sign. Make the most of it. The sun in Pisces is transiting your money and self-esteem zone. And money isn't something you normally worry about too much. But if there was ever a time to start budgeting or get an accountant or you know start saving, it's now. Have a great week and I'll speak to you again next week and happy birthday.